Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, let's learn a Python program that is write a Python class to reverse a string word by word. So given a string as an input to the Python program, so your task is to write a Python class to reverse a string word by word and display it into the standard output. So that is a problem statement. So let's try to solve it. So let me take a class named as reverse. So this is my class and I have to define four functions. First is a constructor. Then next I'll define a function to get the input as a string and then reverse a string and then display it. So let's use all the four functions. So let me define a constructor that is in it and uh, let's take two variables for input and output. So let's take self dot text as an input and let's initialize it to an empty string. Now let's take another variable for storing the output that is result equals to. So let's initialize again it to an empty string. So once we are done with the constructor, so let's ask a user to enter a string that is defined. So I'll be using a get function call and let's ask a user to enter a string. So let's take self dot text. So this is my input uh, variable. So let's use input function call and ask a user to enter a string. This is a string. Yeah, so once the user enters a string, so it will be stored in text variable. So now let's try to reverse a string. So let me define a function. Let's say execute. So this is my function to that is reverse a given string. So let's use a for loop to iterate all the words present in a string so that uh, I'll get the each and individual word and uh, try to reverse it. That is for word in. So I have to take the input uh, string variable that is a self dot text. So now I have to split it into word by word using the built in function split. Yeah, so once we get uh, individual words from a string, so let's try to reverse the string that is let's try to reverse the individual words and append it to the result. So let me take a variable that is output variable that is result and append the reverse of a word. So let's use a string slicing method to reverse a word that is word of colon colon minus one will give us the reverse of a word plus I'll add a space to it. Yeah, so this is a complete Python function to reverse a string word by word. So once we are done with the execute function, so let's define a function to display a result that is output string that is uh, let's define that is uh, display. So this is my function to display. So let's use a print statement and inside the print statement. So let's use a string formatting. Let's say reverse of string word by word is let's use colon and let's use self dot result to print the output. Yeah, so this is a complete Python class to accept a string and uh, reverse it and display it. So now let's uh, take an object of the class and uh, try to instantiate the class. So string underscore object is my variable that is object variable and uh, let's try to get the class that is an instance of a class. And uh, here what I have to do is I have to call the remaining three functions. So here the constructor will be called that is in it and let's try to call the get execute and display functions that is a string object dot get then string underscore object dot execute and then string underscore object dot display. Yeah, so this is a complete Python program to, that is using the Python class to reverse a string word by word. So let me execute this and uh, let me show you how it works. So enter a string. So let's say hello. Are you there? 
So you can see the reverse of a string word by word is hello. It has printed in the reverse. Are you there? Yeah, so this is the reverse of a string. So let me re-execute it. And now let me copy the headline itself. That is uh, this. So you can see reverse of a string word by word is write a python class to reverse a string word by word that is printed that has printed each and every word in the reverse order. Yeah, so this is a complete python program that uses python class to reverse a string word by word. So I'll give this code in the description of this video. So that's it in this video. Hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Bye.